Hi, today I would like to show you how you can create really good uh, virtual experience uh, and add uh, some features uh, which then can transform this virtual experience into great simulation. In that case, we just added some object and the user needs to select the correct object um, for the safety purposes. Like in this case, I will just select the glasses and then the system will lead me into the next scene. So after the, 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 this simulation, the user can, can then go directly into the production line and he get knowledge from the uh, safety area. As you can see, we didn't uh, record uh, scene into directly in the production line, but we built in the software. So to do that, you can do it really easy. Um, you just need one software, which is Blender. Um, it's good that it's free and it's open source, so everybody can just download it and use it. Go to their web page and download the latest version and install it on computer and you can uh, just begin working on it. So I will now open my blender. I already installed it. Um, on the other hand, uh, Blender community is really huge and you can find really a lot of tutorials on YouTube about uh, Blender and how to use it and for which purposes you can use it. I really like that they add also features for uh, mechanical engineering design. So um, really, they, they are doing a really awesome job in Blender. So um, to create a new scene for uh, virtual experience, we will just generate general scene. Um, before we will begin to build our scene, I really like to delete everything uh, which is already on default. So I will select this cube object and I will press X button on keyboard and delete it. And I will delete also this light. So I need to, I want to have empty scene like this. Yeah, I delete everything as you can see in collection. Now everything is empty. So, um, Whenever I am doing a scene for virtual experience, firstly, what I add is camera. How can I add it? A, shift or A, it's like that, yes. So now you will need to learn basic stuff, which is to add uh, any object or camera or light, you need to press on the keyboard shift and A, and now you can select. So for now we will select camera, because whenever I'm doing a virtual experience, as I mentioned, I, well, I firstly I add camera. And to position it in the, the right position, um, we will need to change the angles. But we want to do this because, as you can see, now it's a little bit, uh, it's not the, the, the angle, it's not particular to the floor. Uh, and uh, for virtual experience, it's very, um, important to have everything aligned together. So just press um, the, the rotation of the camera and put it in 90. Uh, we'll put y on a axis in zero and then the z axis into the 90, like that. Yep. And now everything is perfectly aligned. Uh, as you can um, see, this will be our point of first point of view. Uh, into the virtual experience. And now we will move camera a little bit high. Um, to do that, click on keyboard G button and then pre pre press Z button and move it upper or change the high of the camera. So um, I will just give the high like the average person in the world has. So let's say 1.8 meters enter and our camera is perfectly aligned into the our scene so to add the cube or to create our room uh, again i will press shift a and i will select in the mesh i will select the cube and now we have the cube here and i want it to align it into the our floor so how to do this you can select this magnet press g and move it up. Now it's perfectly aligned to our floor. And now I want to expand our room, so I will just do the, I will press S button on keyboard, and I will just move it 
I'll be a little bit out like that. Um, you can also be really specific, um, but I will just, let's say, do it like that. So now I have uh, my room created. Maybe we can just a little bit more. Um, it can be a little bit bigger, um, but we will check this in our different perspective. You can change it in the top right corner. And now we will a bit increase it. So it will be like that. And I will change the, the, the I will position the floor. Uh, I will align the floor uh, of the room with the default floor. Yeah. How to do this? Press the object, and press tap button on the keyboard so that you can see the points of the cube. Now select the bottom points, press G and Z axis and move the points into the direction of the floor. Now the points are perfectly aligned and maybe if you want you can also increase the height of the, of the, the, the ceiling. Again G and Z and pull it a little bit down here, yeah? or G and Z, put it a little bit up. Okay, now if you can go, if you go into the cube, you can see that we have already created our room. But now we need also the table, yeah? How you can add a table? It's really simple to do this. Just a second, uh, to check that we really aligned with the, um, it needs to be a little bit further up so again G Z and a little bit up but okay let's say it's okay and now I will add all the table again mesh I will select cube and we have cube here and now G and Z Z axis have it on the, the same floor like the, the, the our room is and then I will just um, go into the this uh, mesh view or how they say it it's viewport shading and my cube new cube is selected or I can select it again and now I will move it towards the one uh, towards the one side of the our room so G and I will move it into the x-axis like that um, to a little bit modify uh, our table I will just go into the edit mode so I press the tab button on keyboard and now I can select these points and move it a little bit out and select left points of my table again G and on X uh, Y axis and move it a little bit out and uh, I want to decrease the height of my table so I will select top points, G button on keyboard and Z to change the height on Z axis. So if you go out of the edit mode, press the tab button and we can see it. This is our scene. Yeah, it's really good. So now what you want to do is add also light because if you go into the render mode, view port of shading into the render, you will see that it's really dark. There is no light inside, yeah? So we need to edit. But before we go, um, yeah, we can check that we are, that the render engine is in EVE. So we will add now light. So press Shift A, better. Shift and A together and light, yeah. And uh, in this case, I will just choose the area light like that. Now I will move it into the further up G and Z to move it into the toward the ceiling. And now you can take where it is, it's like that. And I will now and I will disable magnet because I want to just put it a little bit 
Have it light. Maybe you can change to the spot, sun, spot, and area. And now, if you want to render uh, in blend, if you want to in blender render uh, for virtual experience, uh, you need to do it into the cycle uh, engine. These are different engine, uh, maybe. Some from YouTube will know more about this engine, but I just know that uh, whenever I need to do the virtual experience mode in Blender, I need to use this Cycles engine because only this engine allows me to export uh, 360 scene. So I will select this Cycles engine. <coughs> As you can see, it's uh, the area is really dark, so I will change my lightning. I will go here into the light mode and I will put, let's say, sun. And check what is happening. Nothing. So I will go again, area, and I will increase the power. Maybe this will change me. Yeah, it's a little bit it's better. This is too much, so I will just put it somewhere 100, let's say. And we, if you change to the engine to the Eve, it's now like that, and I think it's quite good. Maybe I will just increase the, the, the area, I'll put it here in two meters, and again go back to the cycles engine. And I will just uh, select the, the settings uh, for exporting uh, of virtual experience. So firstly, you go into the contents. Let's say into the render mode where you can select renders. Yeah. So uh, select render. Uh, render engine must be cycle. And then go to the output. And select here for virtual experience scene needs to be um, two point uh, two according one. So in that case, we need to increase uh, the, the resolution. Now like that. Um, and now you can select the output. Uh, we will choose in this case. We will choose uh, PNG, which is okay. Um, and now we will go to the view layer. Fine. Uh, so we need to select camera. In collection, just select camera and go into the camera mode. Now, what is important to export the virtual experience, you need to se um, select the right type. Uh, in this case, we will select panoramic. And be sure that you have here selected rectangular. And now our scene is ready to export. But before you export it, click toggle camera view. Just press this camera. And now you are ready to export the scene. How you export it or how you can create render, it's really easy. Click on the main menu, click render and select render image. And the, the process will begin. Okay, I already did it uh, because I have the shitty computer um, and it will take for ages. Uh, so I already prepared this. I will go back to Eve mode because uh, Cycles is really uh, running my computer. It's like that, okay, go back to Steam. And now I will show you what I just exported. Um, so we have it here. This is the scene with object and this is scene without object. So this is my render, uh, empty room, only table and light. Yeah. And now we will also add on the table um, some objects and I will show you how you can do it really easy. Again, we go back to the 
um, our our Google Chrome, and we will just type in uh, free object blender, and you can find here blender free three D models. Um, and now just uh, type in which object you need. Let's say we will do here a ball. We'll find it. And press on ball like that. Download it. I put it into the these files, and then we need also let's say the second uh, object, which is glass. Yeah. like that and you also select some one of these uh, objects okay now uh, we will add this object into our scene, but firstly we need to unzip files. We just did it in a really simple and quick way, as it gets. Um, also this one, extract, unzip. We will unzip it like that. And now we will add this object into our scene. We go back into the Blender. Uh, select file, import, object, and now just choose the get object, the glasses object, import. As you can see, the glasses are already here. I will just move it uh, towards the table and position it. it that uh, rotate the object just select the object please press r button on keyboard and you can rotate it but i will rotate it on the z axis so i will press also z on the keyboard and just turn turn it or rotate it onto the z axis so again a little bit further that and I want to a little bit uh, smaller the, the glasses so select the glasses press S button on keyboard and just move it and like that okay. we'll just place it on the, the table like that if you want to duplicate one of your object press shift and D firstly of course select the object and then shift and D and it's already here so I will just press now Y on my keyboard to move it into the into the Y axis like that and now just set also the ball we go into the import mode that we just go through the process again how to import the object um, we will just import object and we will go into the this uh, uh, folder. So here is ball, import object, and the ball is already here. So small a little bit and move it over the table, and place it onto the table. So it's like this. Uh, before we render this scene now, uh, we want to be sure that all materials of the, our new object are uh, correctly set, so or, or colors are correctly set. We don't need materials as much we need colors now. Uh, so go again into the render mode. As you can see, we are into Eve, Eve mode. Uh, there is no colors in our new object. Yeah? So firstly, we will do the correction of colors to the ball. To select the, the colors or materials of the ball, you need to select the ball. And now, here on this side of the Blender features or mini, you need to choose a wrench symbol. You see it? It's like that. Um, no, not wrench, the, this one. 
uh, it's like <laughs> it's like material. And orange is for different purposes. Um, maybe I will show you later, but uh, this is really important to add some colors onto the new object. So choose the, the this globe or material uh, features, and now you can see you have two defined materials on this object. First is bianco, and then the second is nero. So if I understand Italian uh, as much as I understand the blender, then the Nero is black. Yeah. So we'll select now base color. We will put it into the black, and bianco. We will just leave it like it is. And for the glasses, we will do the same. So if we go through the process again, select the object, find the material features. It's like here. And then you have two materials, frame and matte. So frame can be, uh, let's say, black color, yeah, and matte can be different color. But we can also add some transition, and that means that you will see it's true. Um, it's like more the glass. So if you go again to the cycles mode, we have colors, we have everything, and again, to export render, just select camera because everything we have preset. Maybe we can go through again. We will select camera. Be sure again that you are in cycles mode. Be sure that you have um, two, uh, uh, two to one uh, resolution. Uh, so it's like that. Um, and be sure that you have type panoramic and panorama type rectangular. And now you're ready to export the render. How you can do that? Just click render and render image. And this is it. The process will begin. Uh, take time. It can, ta it can take um, really a lot of time to render this. Uh, it depends on your computer. But I already did, do, did this. Uh, so we will just go and proceed to the next step. Okay, now I will close my blender. I will not save it. It's just okay. So as I show as I showed you before, uh, I have already uh, I have already produced the renders, which are in 360 image. And now you need engine which will drive uh, your how to say virtual experience. Um, I suggest you to use uh, VR360, it's really friendly to use it, uh, I, I helped to develop this uh, um, platform and I really like it, um, I don't know which, which, uh, which engine you can use also, they say it's really good also in Unity but need to programming and other stuff. Um, so honestly, I can just uh, recommend you here because I only know this engine. Uh, just type into the Google uh, search wire 360com and you can know also you have here to the trial version, uh, which is like two weeks, and you can test it if it's okay for you. Um, so I will just go now into the platform. Um, I will upload my renders. I'll go to the project. Uh, I will upload it. I have it here. Select the files and upload it into the platform. It's like that. And now I will rename it. This is in one. Let's say. Oh. And I will create the new scene. Go to the categorize, create new. Let's say we will put here um, new Korea product VR simulation and just save it. Uh, now we will add our renders into the scene. Here we will select first scene 
and then second like that and edit and now we want to connect this thing together you can do it really in a simple and easy way So now this is our empty scene where we can add on um, welcome text. So we will just click double click to create hotspot. Um, we will create some text on canvas and we will set here welcome. Perfect, so we will welcome to our first simulation to begin with. Please click start button, let's say. And click apply. We will correct the background. Okay, and now we will just select transition to our next scene, which can be done really easy. Again, double click to create a temporary hotspot and select transition. We will here the start function and select our scene to apply, apply all the settings. And maybe we can just change that the button is always open. It's like that. So if we go back to our scene and again to our preview, it will look like this, our simulation. This is our empty room where we just set uh, some text and add a start button. And if we click it, uh, we will proceed to the next scene where is our pool and glasses. So guys, I hope you enjoy it and that I give you some value uh, and if you have any question or suggestion how to improve uh, these tutorials, I will really glad to hear your thoughts, uh, to, to share your thoughts with me. Um, otherwise, have a good time, good day and enjoy.